Do you feel worn out and tired? Maybe you should repaint your house. For strong nerves, good memory, and general well-being, Ionit Wall Cream, the secret of healthy air in your home. Included in the promotional material for the press is an interview with a specialist in environmental medicine, Hans-Peter Hutter. Research showed that the ions have a stimulating effect. One could say you feel, quotation marks, more lively. To find out how this wall paint affects health was the first research project Professor Huta did for the industry. Now the manufacturer advertises in the media and magazines, using his expert opinion. Gerald Gartlener heads the Department of Evidence-Based Medicine. One of his researchers came across this wall paint. He tried very hard to prove the advertising promises. It was tested if people felt well and an intelligence test was done. Cognitive interpretation solved. The results? It is impossible to study this because there is no comparable data available. In such a mini-study, one could expect random effects. I would say it is rather the advertising that works. It is not possible to prove this in a comprehensible manner. It looks as if there was good clean testing done for this paint, but for me and other scientists, there is no real evidence in this study. You can't obtain the complete study anywhere. In the abstract, you find a summary of the most important findings and our procedures. It was clear from the beginning that if one wants to prove such subtle effects, one needs a very sophisticated system, particularly since ions in the air, in some way, are considered hocus-pocus. This paint was developed at the Innovation Center at Bomit in Waldeg in Lower Austria. The main reason was to come up with new product ideas for the lucrative health market. It all started with the realization that we need to focus a lot more on health inside the home and that we need to produce products that not only make a home look beautiful, but also enhance the feeling of well-being. My greatest wish was to find something that makes people feel well. Coincidentally, Baumit too wanted to develop a product that would enhance health, so I started my search. We agreed and in turn convinced our company that looking at ions in the air is a new parameter inside buildings we need to focus on and develop a product for. From a scientific point of view, the effect of ions in the air on human health is controversial. Well, one should remember that we are on completely virgin ground here. People are used to the thought that if we want to do something good for our health, we take a pill or use a cream. That the paint on a wall could be beneficial, many have still to accept. As soon as we had composed the recipe for this innovative wall paint, we named it Ionit. The manager of this young enterprise explains the secret working principle. Temperature and moisture are important components within the air. Air ions are formed naturally when the air comes in contact with the walls meaning it is not a product that is released into the air by the wall, but rather is caused by the friction between the wall and the air. Huto admits to be referenced as a scientist in tabloid newspapers was a balancing act on both sides. Naturally, one is confronted with PR people who have no clue about the subject at all. For me, it presents a certain difficulty to explain scientific details in a way that everyone understands, but it also should not sound like a marketing ploy. Gerald Gartlener is the director of the Austrian branch of Cochrane, an organization of independent scientists and researchers that tests medical therapies.
The system at the moment is certainly controlled by the industry. More than 80% of the research is funded by the companies. We estimate that about 50% of all projects done are never published. It is probably up to the marketing departments of pharmaceutical companies to decide if the research of a product is supported. A result of this is that many medications are overvalued. On the basis of one-sided science, decisions are made on how to treat patients or how public health funding is invested and often in the wrong direction. A drastic example is the bird and swine flu pandemic we all remember well. On the urgent recommendation of influenza experts, billions of dollars and euros were invested worldwide in medications like Tamiflu which was hailed as a highly effective medication. Austria alone invested 40 million euros. Tamiflu is certainly the result of the failure of the public control mechanism, probably also the story of a billion dollar win for the industry paid for by the taxpayer. 60% of available patient data was hidden by the industry and has not been made public yet. Slowly we learn that the effectiveness of Tamiflu is far less than was expected at the time. It is not even clear if it was able to reduce very severe cases. The expiration date of all the stored Tamiflu stocks has been extended several times, last to 2016. By now, however, there is the question of whether it is even worth storing this medication at all.